Developing tonight, the coronavirus is claiming more lives in China. Nine people now dead and more than 400 others infected. The first U.S. case was reported today in Seattle. Here in Chicago, O'Hare is joining four other U.S. airports screening travelers arriving from China. The goal? To stop a potential outbreak here. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live at O'Hare. Charlie. Erica, that enhanced medical screening will take place at the International Terminal here at O'Hare. And with the Lunar New Year just days away, travel is expected to increase. O'Hare joins a list of five major U.S. airports that will screen passengers traveling from Wuhan, China, for the new coronavirus, the strain never before seen in people. There's a lot to learn about this novel virus, which was just uh, identified a few weeks ago. Dr. Sharon Wellbell is the infectious disease director for Cook County Health. I do think that we're prepared. I think the fact that there was communication, it seems, early on. A man in his 30s is being treated for the coronavirus at a hospital outside Seattle. It's the first diagnosed case of the virus in the U.S. He traveled through Wuhan, China, where the virus started, possibly at a food market, arriving back in the States on January 15th. First of all, we'll be overly cautious. Symptoms include fever, cough, and trouble breathing, and in extreme situations, kidney failure, pneumonia, and even death. China reports nine people have died, and there are some 440 cases. We may have some cancellation. Yvonne Yen owns a travel agency in Chinatown. I don't want that to happen again. The SARS virus in 2002-2003 nearly tanked her business. Right now, she says it's too early to tell what impact corona will have. We have uh, two to three years to recover our business. Now, there is no vaccine for the coronavirus, and health officials do have some concerns that symptoms might not display until days after going through these enhanced medical checkpoints. We're live tonight from O'Hare, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Erica. Charlie, thank you.